Okay, so today we're going to work on how to create a simple uh, clicking game uh, whereby we click on something and it disappears. And so I'm going to show you that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my account in Scratch and click on New Project. Okay, wait, and a new project, a new project will come up. And so you can see the standard uh, Scratch interface. So I'm going to call this, uh, let's say, Ghost Killer because we're going to end up doing killing some ghosts. Um, so I call this Ghost Killer, and that's my project. So basically, the first thing we need to do is we need to create a ghost. Okay, so when we start uh, Scratch, we get this kind of cool little cat character. But what I want to do is I want to change that. So I'm going to go in and delete the cat, and I'm going to try a new costume. And if we go to I think Fantasy, we'll see the ghost. So let's kind of choose a spooky ghost because. We don't want to kill the nice ghost over here. We just want to get rid of the, the spooky ghost. So click OK. And I'm just going to delete that. So now our sprite is ghost. Okay, so I might change this to ghost right just so we know that's he's facing right. Um, now, maybe you know you can't see it. Now, this ghost is a little bit big. So what I want to do is I want to click on it and I'm going to change the size. Uh, make it a little bit smaller on the screen. Now I'm going to move this back. You can see this little uh, plus sign. That's the center of the sprite. So we need to make sure the center of the oops. We need to make sure the center of the sprite is lined up with that. So we can do it that way. We can also click on this here, set costume center, and just say, okay, I want the center to be right there. And you know, it's try to get as close as possible. That'll be really helpful when we when the ghost rotates. But that's about that. Okay, so now. We want to go back to our scripts because we want our ghost to do something. Okay, so our first event is always when the green flag is clicked. So when we start the game, what do we want to happen? Okay, so in this case, I want the ghost to come back to zero zero, which is the exact center of the screen. So I'm going to say go to x zero y zero, and then. What we need to do now is we want the ghost to move around. Okay, so let's just try something simple. Now we talked about this, or we we're going to talk about this, uh, something called loops. So I, a loop is something that is repeated. So I want the ghost to always be moving. So I'm going to use a forever loop. So I'm going to try motion, and let's say I'm going to say move ten steps, and then I'm going to let's say turn right, fifteen degrees. Let's see what happens there. Okay, so that's what our ghost does. So it moves 10 steps, turns 15 degrees, turns, goes 10 steps, and turns 15 degrees. Maybe 10 steps isn't really enough. Let's try 20. See what happens there. Okay, that's really quick. Um, let's make it, just for demonstration purposes, let's try and make that a 5. Okay. Or we could even, we could even put in a, uh, maybe a delay. So move five steps. One second's a little bit slow. 0 0.2. Let's try that. No. 0 0.1. And let's try this. Like 50 steps. Now you notice the ghost actually cannot move off the screen. So it, once it hits the wall, it stops. Now that's still a little bit too fast for my taste. I'm not that quick at this. Hey, let's try that. Okay, and we'll, we'll talk more about this in a little bit. Um, so basically, okay, we've got a nice little animation. Um, the ghost is moving. Um, what we want to happen is when we click it, we want the ghost to disappear because we, that's how we're going to kill it. Um, so the event in that case is when this sprite is clicked. Okay, so when this sprite is clicked, simplest thing we can do, we're just going to go and hide it. Okay, so now I gotta make sure I can click on it. Missed it. Okay, so you can see I actually was able to click on it and it has disappeared. Okay, so that's kind of a, the basis for our very simple game. Now, if I click on the green flag, and I, so to start again, okay, we don't see anything. The reason is that the sprite is still hidden. Okay, so what we wanna do is when the green flag is clicked, we want to show the sprite, then go to zero, 00, 
then start doing this. So, and so that's kind of the basis for our game. Now, um, something we want to do is at the stage level, we're going to find a nice backdrop. Okay, so the backdrop is kind of the background of the screen. So we can click here, and there's some built in. Um, so I might choose a castle, and I'll say castle 4 looks kind of cool. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to delete that one, blank one. Okay, so now if I go back, saving, good. Okay, I go to sprite, and I'm going to start again. So now my sprite is flying around here. Okay. Now, game kind of gets a little bit boring if we know it always starts at the same spot. So what we want to do is we want to use something called a random function. Okay. So if you recall, the x-coordinates go from about minus 240 to plus 240. And y goes from, so I'm start at the bottom, minus one, I think 180 to plus 180. So we can use something here called an operator, and these are kind of our math functions. So I want the ghost to start somewhere x between minus 240 and, oops, that was the wrong one. I put that in here, my bad. So minus 240 plus 240, and we want y to start somewhere randomly, minus 180, plus 180. So now if I click start, every time he starts at a random spot. Okay, so kind of gives you a little bit of, uh, you know, a little bit of variety in the game. Now what's cool is at this point, if I right click, I can hit duplicate, 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 duplicate. So now I've got five. If I hit start, they all start at random spots. So, oops, missed, got them. Yeah, and, okay. So the idea is that if you can get one of them working perfectly, you can create a duplicate. Now there are other ways to do that, and I'll show you those in another lesson. But for today, that's kind of how we want to we want to work on this. So give it a shot.